According to local officials, Durban's port major highways and roads in KwaZulu-Natal province are debris-filled and blocked. For more details, VOA correspondent Paul Ndiho spoke via Skype to Asma botme Clark, a journalist based in Durban, South Africa. We have these past couple of days experienced and witnessed some scenes of utter and complete devastation. Uh, really, I mean, I'm part of the lucky ones because my house is still standing, but you can see behind me, uh, the pool is completely brown. It's due to the excess of water from the rain, but also the sand and the mud that went to get deposited in it. But people, people that are unfortunate have lost everything. They have lost their belongings, their house, and even some of them, their lives. Some people are still missing, and so this number might change. Um, there is so much destru destruction around Durban at the moment. You can see broken houses, broken walls, schools are broken, roads, bridges, really, and even entire a block of flats have been washed away in the north of Durban. Um, many informal settlements as well have been severely touched, where the, complete ha the houses have completely um, been washed away. Uh, we estimate 4,000 homes completely destroyed, and those people have nowhere to go now. What are the authorities saying in terms of uh, how many people have been affected and how many people have died as a result of these floods? You can basically say that everyone in KwaZulu Natal has been affected, but the more the people who have completely lost their homes, we count around 2,000. Uh, people that have lost their houses and 4,000 in the informal settlements. So Are there some businesses that have been affected or it's just uh, people living these uh, informal settlements? Businesses have been affected too, like the, the harbour, the, the port of Durban is completely flooded. It stopped shipping. Uh, you, I don't know if you saw the images, but there's containers also float. They've been floating around. Uh, we saw a tanker washed away on the beach. Um, so many businesses have been affected and they will keep on being affected for as long as uh, the shipping is, 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 is stopped. The president of South Africa has visited the place. Uh, uh, what uh, is he saying? What uh, kind of message is he giving to the people? The province of KwaZulu-Natal has been placed in state of disaster which means that uh, the province will have access to more funding for rebuilding and helping the people that are in need. At the moment, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, came today to visit some of the areas that are most affected by these floods. So there is the, the extent of the damage in terms of cost hasn't, hasn't been established yet. Are you safe? I'm hoping I'm safe. I mean, on uh, Monday night, the, the, that rain was really scary. And, and you never know if you're safe because you don't know how is the soil under your house. You don't know if it's porous. If, because we've seen images of houses, they're still standing, but suddenly they disappear in the ground. Asma Botemi, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you, Paul. That was VOS Paul Ndiho speaking to Asma Botme-Clark, a Durban-based journalist.